recently read a comment made by Marco Rubio that Obama is intentionally attempting to destroy America. Yeah. And this seems to be a message reflected by all of the Republican and even some Democratic candidates. So my question is, how do you account for the popularity of anti-Obama rhetoric throughout the nomination in the media? Uh, this time around, or? Uh, this time around specifically, but I in mean, general look, as well. I, that comment by Marco Rubio is so out of line and so extreme, it's like, I don't remember, I don't remember, like, as a Democrat, right, I disagreed strongly with George W. Bush and a lot of things he did during the presidency, right? I believe he did those things because he had a certain set of beliefs that led him to those decisions. And I don't think any of those beliefs was George Bush getting to the White House and thinking, now I want to destroy America. Right? I don't think anyone runs for office thinking, yeah, you know what, I want to destroy the country that I'm part of. <laughs> um, th it's insane. Th that is an insane comment to make. And, you know, but fine if he wants to make it, because I actually have enough, I, I think it was a big mistake. And, they're not, and the reason that Marco Rubio and his campaign made that comment is because Rubio is in a position where he feels like he is not, it's basically like a, a race to see who can be the craziest, right? And Rubio's worried that he's losing that race to Donald Trump and to Ted Cruz. And he doesn't want to take, he doesn't want to talk about his positions because he's thinking to himself, okay, I could actually get to the general election. And if all my comments are about my positions, if I go out there and talk about how, um, you know, I'm against abortion, even in, in uh, cases of incest and rape, um, you know, that's going to hurt me in the general. The one thing that won't hurt me in the general is if I just talk about how awful Barack Obama is, right? So his advisors are probably telling him that the way to appeal to your base, forget about issues, just, just hit Obama as much as possible and then be positive and hopeful about the country, right? And sound like an optimist. So that's his plan. But he took it too far by saying that comment and not walking back from it either. Because I think in a general election, when the American people are faced with someone who believes that the guy in office right now is intentionally trying to destroy America, they're not, they're not gonna buy that, you know? And, um, and it's crazy too, because it's like, you know, I, 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 like if, if he really thinks that Obama's trying to destroy America intentionally, why hasn't he called for Obama's impeachment? Why doesn't, think, why doesn't he think Obama should be tried for treason if the, if the commander in chief is intentionally trying to destroy the country? I mean, it's just, it's so insane. Um, I have strong feelings about that. <laughs>